Yeah. 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 Football feast. Uh, football feast. This the football feast. Extra podcast. Hey, football feast. Uh, football feast. Bro. Football feast. Extra podcast. Playing soccer. Grab your keys. Playing soccer. Time to meet. Playing soccer. Time to meet. They finna talk a lot. Okay. Playing soccer. Get the keys. Playing soccer. Let's get it. Playing soccer. Let's go. Football podcast. Uh, first game of the weekend was Wolves versus Liverpool. We did just have a little chat about it quickly before. Yeah, I mean Wolves played well. Wolves very well, very impressed. First half, they were all over them. Liverpool looked shocking at the back. Don't know who the new young lad that they had playing. Don't know, don't know much about him, but he looked a little bit lost. But they, don't know. I don't think they've looked good at all this season. But they're getting the results and. Well, you can't argue with it, can you? I mean, they're going to no. start clicking it. I mean, they got a lot. They got a whole brand new midfield. It's going to take time, but while they're picking points up, I mean, you yeah, can't exactly. argue with them, can, can you? If you can play bad and pick a few points up, then there's nothing wrong with that. No, definitely not. So fair play to them. Yeah. I mean, All Wolves. Right, Wolves were, you know, I thought Wolves were really, really good first half. I, you know what? Would I go as far to say as that is the most like, I've never seen Liverpool so outplayed like under Klopp in that first half. Like just the first half, they completely played them off the park. Like I've never seen it before, like under Klopp. Um, but then Liverpool obviously made them changes, and that's that was the difference. The, what they were able to bring off their bench just completely changed the game, and Wolves just stood off them. But first half, I was so impressed with Wolves. A lot of people had Wolves go down, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah. And a lot of people had Wolves go down. Yeah. I think they'll but... stay up quite comfortably. I think there's a hell of a lot worse. We'll get to them in a minute. Um. But yeah, I think they'll stay up quite comfortably. They, they haven't looked too bad at all. I know they're not picking up too many results, are they? Are they? That's the only thing. Yeah, they need to and quick. Yeah. yeah. Still get some I do think they'll be all right. Not really much to say about that one, is there? Like you said, they were picking up points yeah. playing badly. Or two late goals, didn't they? Yeah. I tell you, there were some late goals, weren't there? Talk about late goals. <laughs> Aston yeah. Villa. The yeah, they were. They were one 0 down in the uh, in the eighty seventh minute, weren't they? And they lost three one. Hundred and hundred and what was it? Hundred eighth minute. They said what they went two one up. Yeah, on a penalty. And then in the hundred and tenth or something, they scored yeah. another one. Yeah, fair. Again, Villa seemed to be a bit up and down, didn't they? Same with Palace. Palace have played really well for good football this season. Um, yeah, I'm not convinced Villa will do as well as everyone was saying at the start when they were saying like tipping them for like top six and that. I don't think that'll happen for them, but. No. I mean, both of these teams, they're going to have no dramas, are they, really, with sort of staying up slash I do wish I could take my Aston Villa prediction back, <laughs> but it's out there. You watch, you watch them win the Conference League, though. Yeah, yeah. well, they, well, they, they should do. They sh- I mean, let's be honest. I know, like, I'm going to piss off some West Ham fans now, and I am, but it's, it's nothing. they it? were the best team in there by a, long, by a long way, other than maybe Florentina, and they were lucky to win that game. Florentina battered them the whole yeah. game. And they were lucky to it's win a made up trophy, so you wafer can make a bit of extra money. Yeah. It's a load of shit. <laughs> the trophy, and mate. What bollocks. made me laugh? I won't name names, but what made me laugh is when I was sitting down on uh, like in my front room at like 10 to 3. Not like I've had any time to sit down this week, but when I did, and I went on my Facebook, right, and I see one of my mates put it's the European uh, cha- double European champions collide at three o'clock today, and I was like, What? I was like. Oh yeah, yeah, then you then not Spe- European. Oh, and get and they, guess what? He was not a Man City fan. <laughs> <laughs> I think they nearly yeah, got like... relegated. Oh mate, uh, uh, they're embarrassing. But good luck. Oh yeah, that Conference League needs to go. I don't like it. But so yeah. hang on. With, so with with the, with the top five getting Champions League this season, so we've got an extra Champions League yeah. spot. So that means eighth place is going to be in the Conference League. That's what I mean. You, you, you might as well That's give it insane. to anyone. I'm, Literally mid table, yeah. like. How well, it goes to the people? person that wins the League Cup, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah, I thought they yeah, got to the Europa That's how it works it now. Oh, so if if, if the team that finishes day sixteenth win the League Cup, I think they get the they get the spot. <laughs> you imagine? They're they're banking on like the top seven winning the League so what, Cup. So hang on. So what if the, what if a Championship team wins the League Cup? They're in Europe. But yeah, the championship. Yeah, I mean the Millwall when they when they got to oh, the yeah, Sunderland. Spot. Come on, yeah. we're out. It's all right. We're out already. <laughs> when 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 <laughs> Millwall when Millwall made the cup final in whatever year it was, and Man United beat them three 0 They made they played in the UEFA Cup. Oh, 
I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so, yeah we all made the FA Cup final. Guess. And that was when the winners of the FA Cup final used to get the European spot. But then, obviously, if a Champions League team won it, it would just go down to the runner-up. I thought that still happened with the FA Cup. Well, it might do. But because both teams are always in the Champions League, generally, that's probably why an extra exactly. place in the league gets yeah. it. But... Yeah. It's not really a top English team, isn't it, the winner? Yeah. yeah. When City win everything, you can't put City in five times, can you? <laughs> right, so you played in the Conference League on a on a Thursday, you wrote the league on a Thursday. Can you put two teams out? Because you're going to need to. They probably still win it all. Win it all. Right, they would, wouldn't they? Their team's so good. You'd get someone like Phil uh, Foden wanting to play every game, wouldn't you, as well? Yeah, I could see him. Scott going, Carson yeah, being goal. Play. Conference yeah. League of Scott Carson. Yeah. <laughs> get some minutes in. But yeah, Villa Palace was a bit of late drama, but nothing much really, was it? A bit one of them. Two teams that Boring will be games. Safe. Yeah. Yeah, two teams that will be safe. Uh right. Fulham versus Luton. I've said this and I will keep saying this. Luton are not going to win a game this season. <laughs> you have said they this. will not yeah. win one game this season. I mean they can't score apart from they scored one goal, didn't they? they well, I said this season. at like the start of the season, and I'll say it again. They brought loads of championship players. So it's almost, are they prepared to just get relegated, but have like the best championship team? Do you know what I mean? Like the best champions. But they uh, haven't bought championship even team. the best championship players. No. Yeah. They've bought average championship players to try and play in the Premier League. It's, it's just, I don't really get it. Did Rob, the Ross Barkley is well. play the other day though, didn't he? Oh, he yeah, signed yeah. for Luton, didn't he? Yeah. He did, yeah. I forgot they even signed him. And then like I was like, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> I don't know football. Like, Hold on a minute. <laughs> I know that one. No, I used to rate him so much as well. He had a... Remember when he celebrated before he scored? Yeah. Do you remember that? He took I... around the keeper. Yeah, I think so. Started celebrating before he even put it in. If he'd missed yeah. that, that would have been a great moment. Martinelli did the it thing... last year, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, against Villa. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the, the thing I don't get about Luton, though, is if they are buying championship players to prepare to go back down, like... People aren't stupid. People have got agents. They're not going to sign to, for Luton without like some sort of either release, release clause. clause or something in there to protect them because they and know Luton are favourites to go down. Also, so don't they what, they being, what they being protected from? They're championship players. Yeah. Don't you think as well? It's if any of them do perform well, moves. they'll just get snapped up again. So they have, they probably don't care, do they? Yeah. I mean, like, Ross, Bart yeah. Ross, yeah. Ross Bartley's gone there to try and rebuild his career, isn't he? If he has a good season and stays injury-free, because he is a good player, if he can stay injury-free and has a good 12 months, even if Luton get re- relegated, he'll jump ship, wouldn't he? And he'll get he'll get another Prem club. Yeah. He'll get like a West Ham or, you know, a Crystal Palace. You know what? If, I was, if I was Ross Barkley, I would have gone to somewhere like Leicester or Southampton. I would have been in a team at the top of the league, get See, the confidence we, Didn't we say this a little while back? Yeah, yeah, we right, did. Southampton are getting... Oh, well, I wouldn't mention Southampton at the yeah. as a, as a decent watched, team in the championship. <laughs> I watched. Uh, I have actually watched a lot of Champions. Yeah, I watched that uh, game on Friday night. A wow, awful. awful. I reckon I could score against them, and I played in gold most of my, my football in time. <laughs> yeah, they're, I don't know what's happened. I know they've sold a few, but they've still got like Carl Walker, Peters, Shay Adams. Mate, they, they've got without more press in their midfield. They look, they look a bit lost, don't they? Yeah, they do look. Is, a bit is lost, he underrated, yeah. James Ward Prowse? I know, I know, Billy don't rate him. I'm not a fan. He's, he seems to have an impact. Like he doesn't look like he does much other than like with set pieces, but he does seem to have an impact on teams. The only thing I would say with him, and like he is a good player, obviously, but he's not what I call England class because everyone keeps saying about getting an England call. You yeah. can't pick a bloke because he can take a good free kick, or you know, you know, this I keep saying it, this ain't American football. Like, do you know what mm. I mean? This you, we don't we don't have kickers. We don't have specialist kickers. You have got to be all round. I don't think there's enough to his game personally to bring him. I like, agree. I agree. I mean, he's a good. If England for West have Ham. to play. Yeah. If England have to play George James Ward Prowse. We're not going to win nothing. Nah. Ever. One hundred percent. And how? How? Yeah. I mean, I, without sounding like a complete arsehole, how is he getting in? Where's he playing in that team? Who is he getting in, in front England, of in that team? Oh, sure. Yeah, in the England team. I don't think he gets into the England team. Like, I think he's good enough for a mid-table. Premier League team. Yeah. I don't think he's good enough to play for England. No. Nah. Because we right, are we ready for the next. Yeah, go on. The next game. The next game is the big one. It's Man United. 
This is Brighton. <laughs> oh, just made well, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. It's actually making... It makes my day, knowing how bad they are. Like... I said this, I think I said this in a message the other day. I can't remember if it was to you lot or someone else. I love the fact that there are like 30 year old men out there that like died Man United fans crying about it because when they were like 10, 11, 12, 13, and they thought they were like the best and they were the best. And that's why they support them. And they don't even know where Manchester is on the map. And now they absolutely hate life. I think you all deserve it. Like and I hope this. it long may it continue. Yep. Long may it continue. Hundred yeah. percent. You reckon that'll be all the city fans in like fifteen years? It's the Chelsea fans now as well, ain't it? They're like Yeah, that. mate, they're even but they're even better. Do you know what I mean? They're like I actually know quite but, a few Chelsea fans and do you know what? I've actually stopped taking the piss out of them now because it's actually not fair on them. Because <laughs> it's not even fun anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I mean, about Man United. Yeah, what is the problem with Man United then? Ten Hag. Is it the manager? Of, is it? Is it the? A um, lot of people say it's the owners, and it's yeah. Glazer out, Glazer out. Performances on the field stop at the manager and the players. That's yeah. got nothing to do with the boardroom. If you're not good enough on the football fields, they've got no like. When you when I watch them play, there's just nothing. There's I don't know, actually know what how they're set up or how they're trying to play football. I don't understand. It's just I long can't long believe that this. they spent seventy five million or whatever it was on that. Holland or whatever his name is, right? And I'm sure he might be a good player. I'm not trying to like I ain't seen enough of him to comment on how good he is. But they spent 75 million on him. Now, do you not think that that 75 million would have got you Ivan Tony, or put another 25 million on that and you get Harry Kane? Yeah, two proven, recognised Premier League strikers. So I mean, I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about that. Whatever his name is, right? Because he, he, you know, he's only been in here five minutes. But I know what I'd rather have. So the the problems that you've just said there about them not going out and getting Harry Kane or uh, and getting Hoyland in and and stuff like that. Do you would you put that on Ten Hag? Is it Ten Hag buying the players? Is he going to them saying I, I don't want Kane, I want this? Someone's doing it. But is someone's it, is picked it him up, didn't they? I mean, I've never even heard of the bloke. And I, mate, you're talking about the biggest football manager fan in the world, probably who literally scouts the hours on that computer game to try and find the best players. I've never even heard of the bloke. I, I, I don't think it, I don't like people can say, oh, like, is it Ten Hag buying the players? Is it the Glazers or is it this person? But surely. Person? He's got a good team. He has got a team. Yeah. Full he of spent good 500 players, million. And he can't he's do been there. shit with them. It was last year his first season, was, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 He's been there like less than a season and a half. He has spent 500 million. And they're probably worse than when he got the team. He's kicked out the best striker in the world. Yep. He's thrown J- mate, Jaden that Sancho. Him many a times. Oh, mate. De Gea was one of the best keepers in the Premier League. Let him go on a free. The bloke has lost his marbles there. You've got Jaden Sancho, who was one of England's best pro- like, prospects. Mate, he, what's, what's he done with him? He's been ruined. He's been ruined. He's been, he's mate, public, I would take him. If, if, I would take Jaden Sancho at Arsenal in a heartbeat. I would if they wanted to get rid. I did a post about that the other day. Um, I, I saw saw people were, were talking about Jaden Sancho to Arsenal, but I, I will say in defence of Ten Hag, like I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence with this because I do feel sorry for him a little bit. Like the whole Ronaldo thing is on him. Like that yeah, was his decision, a bit like Arteta's decision with Aubameyang. I know it's different levels, but you've got to sort of live and die by those decisions. But if you look at Ten Hag, Man United's injury list, like they've just lost Wan Bissaka now for a few weeks. They've nah, literally got mate, no defenders. Everyone. Everyone, no, they've got Dallo. Dallo plays. Dallo's their right back. They got Harry Maguire. So they've got. They've got so they've got. Dallow's yeah, they've got Dallo. Maguire's they, they, like their yeah. fifth choice centre back. They spent five hundred million, and they got Johnny, they got Johnny Evans. They got exactly. Johnny. We're saying <laughs> maybe they should have brought a centre we... back with that five hundred million. You can't blame injuries. Arsenal, Arsenal's uh, spent hundred and whatever million. Their bloke got injured. They're, they're carrying on with life. But but is that Ten Hag? Is it Ten Hag that's not spent that five hundred? That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, is that his fault? It doesn't you know, matter. He's decided. It, it, in my yeah, opinion, it, it doesn't it matter. Shouldn't matter one bit. He's, you he should be worth turn... five hundred million. You can't do nothing with it. He should. He's the manager, right? He knows what he needs. He knows if he needs a centre back, a striker, or whatever. He surely is giving the manager, director, the CEO, the whoever it is who buys the players, and must be giving him a list, going, "I need this. I need that." 
There's no yeah, way he's getting eleven, like twenty five players and going, yeah, do what you can with that. No way, because what happens if they buy fifteen strikers and no defenders? Yeah, well, but, but like he, Chelsea. Yeah, he's got. He must have a say in it. He must have a with say. With Ten Hag, I've just seen. I've just seen nothing about him that says he's a good manager. He's a terrible man manager. Absolutely awful. The players well, don't really seem like he they would have want been, to play for him at all. I think he would have been a better manager, like in the Ferguson era and like the Wenger era, where you could sort of should have tell a stuck tell to him, Holland, where it's nice and easy yeah. for him. I think where you could tell a player to like do one and that, where it don't you don't really have that anymore, do you? His philosophy is old. But the Ronaldo thing, I don't understand. Like you've got the best player in the world, who all Good he's game. trying to do is get, he's trying to drag people to his level. Not even quality wise, because they're not going to be that good. But like mentality wise, yeah. he's just trying to drag them up to like this is Man United. Like we don't perform like this, and he gets rid of him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. What the fuck? Like what the fuck? Again, I would have taken him at Arsenal in a heartbeat. <laughs> but like, you know what? Like what? <laughs> After that interview that he did, like obviously, mm. the, I think the mistake, the damage was done before the interview. That that was where yeah, career was done. Well, yeah, he wouldn't have done. done he better. wouldn't have done the uh, the interview, would he? If yeah. he had a good relationship with him. No. But he was yeah, that's him, where the he weren't was playing done. him. They didn't have a fixed striker. And they were playing like midfielders up front and that. You've got the best player in the world on the on the bench. You've like, got the greatest goal scorer of all time sitting on your bench while you need a goal. On bench because he won't track back. I don't, I don't, buy, I don't pay for strikers to track back. I pay strikers to score goals. I don't get this. I don't get this stuff. Like a striker scores goals. That is their game. That is their whole game. It should have. That's if I saw my striker in, the, in in my half, I tell him to stand on the halfway line. What are you doing Harlan down there? Harlan six times. Huh? Harlan touches ball six times a game. Yeah, it scores scores every yeah. game. That's all they should do. Yeah, one hundred percent. Do you know what? And I know he's good at it, but it winds me up watching England when Harry Kane does it. Like he doesn't actually track back; he just comes back to get on the ball, doesn't he? And it, yeah, it just, even though he is a very good passer, it winds me up because there's just no one up front. There's just it, yeah. I think that's it's really that's hard. the problem with him being when he was at Spurs because because Spurs was so shit, he had to go get the ball. Whereas he doesn't really have to do that with England anymore. And I think now he's playing at Bayern Munich, you'll see him as a bit more of a number nine again, like how he used to be. I don't yeah. think that because he had to go get the ball, didn't he? Because <laughs> they were, they were, there was just no good Spurs players, really, was it? I've got a question for you both. Is Wednesday night the first time you want to see Harry Kane score a hat trick at club level? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably. <laughs> I want to yes. see him destroy United. Oh, do you know what? Destroy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't boo him, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wouldn't have a problem with it. I mean, but yeah. can we just talk about Brighton just real quickly, just to go off and they're fucking what a job that guy's doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you see that stat that the team was only worth 18 million quid? Yeah, that's mad. The Brighton team that started was worth yeah. 18 million quid. Man United's team had something like 360 million pounds on the bench. He had about four or five free transfers, didn't he? In the team. Mate, it was he more than Lallana. that. Someone the said it team to me. of Lallana and Welbeck have just beat Man United. Oh, mate, James Mill was in as well. <laughs> James Milner was in that <laughs> coming as a sub, didn't he? You say? Yeah, it's just yeah. absolutely but insane. If you, I saw something on, I, I don't know what show it was, but they would say I didn't watch the game. But Brighton had like Tarek Lamptey in his team. That's not the first time he's played this season. Probably in in age he never plays Tarek Lamptey. Well, he was injured. They had so many players out. Yeah, and Ferguson. He's um he was on the bench because he was injured. He didn't. I don't even think he came on. He's got a hat trick the week before, but they left him on right. the bench. Yeah. You know, and they've still come out. Of, it was Old Trafford, 30, isn't it? They've still come yeah. out of Old Trafford. They brought their thirty-five anyway, so million pound signing on as well. He scored the third goal. That Jao yep. Pedro, whatever his name is, yeah, mate. They I don't know what it is. They're, they're, just, so well run. they're just awesome, aren't they? If they did have a few, a few like sort of worldy class Top players, players. Yeah. they would, they would chat. They would, they would easily challenge with that mentality. Do you know what I mean? But they just unfortunately don't have that. <laughs> You know, like you know, like when Southampton did it, right? Southampton had the had, you know, they were churning them out, and Liverpool were just taking them, and then eventually they fell off. It's just yeah. not happening with Brighton. Like they just keep producing them, like they just keep going. Yeah. They've been going for years now, and they're not running out of players. Like they just the next one is round the corner. I've it's mad to think that they like spent million. They spent like two point eight million on Matoma or whatever it was. I mean, how much? Was that was he? He's so owner of United right now. I'd sack Ten Hag and I'd get him in. What a Z- 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 Zerbi or whatever. Oh, he's he he's incredible. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's an unbelievable manager. 
Yeah, yeah, I, just, I haven't got enough I, I, enough to say good things to say about Brighton. That's I know the others have sold. Me. I know the others have sold, haven't they? Like Potter had to sell a couple of players. Yeah, but he like, he just got raided, didn't he? Of every like Casado, McAllister, Casado. They're all, like they're properly like. Well, I would say world class. They might be world class one day. Yeah, but they're, even, they're, even they're proper star people. quality. To players. be fair, McAllister looked shocking against Wolves. Like he looked half the player. Like I think didn't he get dragged off at half time as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He off. did, mate. He gave well, the, he it? gave the ball away. Constant, he's too man. easy to get past. That's his problem. Like he's, he's not he, I really a holding. He, he plays. I know he won't play. Yeah, he's not field, in that But position. he was playing a deeper role. He, that's not his role. Like no. I suppose that's what well, I made. Don't make me try and pronounce the name. Uh, the, the hungry Gary and Geezer. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's sort of taken that role, isn't he? That he's sort of taken McAllister's role. But he's he looks good. Yeah, he look, he does look good. But yeah, so that was our Man United brand and Brian. Yeah, like Baron said, I've got nothing. I can't say enough good things about him. Yeah, nah, good, good luck out. Yeah. Spurs, Sheffield United, madness. You want to skip? <laughs> oh, this guy pissed me off. Right, so me it, off. Let's... <laughs> no, go on. Go on. All right. What All pissed right. me off is that Spurs scored a fucking whatever it minute goal it was. And there's me thinking, because I actually bet on Spurs to win, because I don't mind betting on Spurs to win, because sometimes if they lose, I think, well, you lost. <laughs> and then sometimes... Money well spent. Win, money well spent. But when they <laughs> scored their winning goal, bloody Stevenage conceded in a 95th minute or whatever it was to Charlton, <laughs> and then I lost all my money. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, no. so that was annoying. The... So I want to start off my story about this Spurs game, right? I want to start off by saying that so my, in my fantasy team, I had Son as my captain and I also had Shocking. James Madison. It's the Shocking. first time I've ever put Spurs players is, in my dream team. Andrew, like, Arsenal fan. I, I'm, I'm behind. I'm trying to catch up, right? I was desperate. I was doing <laughs> what I could. And Son got two points, three points, something like that. And Madison got one. Haaland got more than both of them combined. And Tottenham scored two goals after Son had been hooked off the pitch. Like it was Spurs won in like the worst possible way for me. Like I didn't benefit at all. I didn't have them on my accumulator. I, all the players I had in the fantasy team, just you know, they didn't get involved. And they they, they won the game. It was just it was just a terrible result for me. Yeah. I mean so um, obviously we'll get to the Arsenal Spurs game later, but that's gonna be a hell of a game. That's just going to be two teams. That's just going to I'll go be, do you know what? I'll be interested to see how that goes because Spurs haven't really played anyone yet. Um, and yeah, they have scored a few goals in that, but it'll be interesting because I don't think they're as good as everyone's making out. I think they're a bit like Liverpool. They've had a good run. They've had some good fixtures to start the season off with. Um, they were very, I mean, I say lucky. They probably deserve to win the game. I don't think anyone, this is why I'm not bothered about them winning 2 1 because they batted them the whole game, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think Shelton Knight only had the one shot on target, didn't they? But yeah, they did bat. Um, but I do think if they come at Arsenal on Sunday, Arsenal will steamroll them 3 or 4 0. Yeah, I agree. They and need to, I, I, I... they need to sit in and defend and like and hit Arsenal in the counter attack. Because if it's they come way, at Arsenal, it? no, that's not his way. And this is what I said at the start of the season about this Postecoglou or whatever his name is. I said he'll learn it the hard way when he plays the Arsenal and the Man Cities and the Liverpools, who are who have got quick players. That if they come at them and attack them, you know they'll they'll get unstuck. I mean, they might not. He might prove me wrong. They might come at Arsenal and Arsenal get shocked and like, what's this? We're uh, it's going to be. It's, I think it's going to be about. Two, it's going to be two all or Arsenal. Are you just going to batter them five nil because they just holes everywhere? Yeah. Because they're, they're defending that, right? The, yeah. And you know, I, I said this. I did a I did a match match review after the Arsenal Everton game on our um, TikTok account, and I did say I cannot wait for us to play Tottenham because Tottenham their fans will not let them sit behind the ball. Like their fans will be on them. Like yeah. I know we're at home, but I'm just tired. I'm sick or tired of teams just putting eleven players behind the ball. I get why they do it. Like fair fair enough. But it's so boring to watch. And I've not watched one exciting game, really. The United game. But even there, they sat behind the ball, you know, low blocks. Spurs won't. They will come at us. And it will actually be a good game of football. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it will be an unbelievable game. Richarlison scored and didn't get booked. Didn't take a shirt off. off. 
it wasn't offside, so <laughs> it was, yeah. big win for him. <laughs> it, that counselling's working. Uh, West Ham C. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what's West Ham City? Um, yeah, Ham I mean, City. not West Ham. Do you know what? As much as I take the piss out of West Ham, they're actually all right, yeah. though. They're actually decent, good, aren't they? They're playing good they're football. Good um, Ward Prowse is absolutely having it for them. I think they spent the money quite well, the Declan Rice money. Yeah, well, they bought that uh, Kundus, who does look like a good player from Ajax. They obviously got Ward Prowse. Yeah, and they got that. He looks quite good. Yeah. Was he from Ajax as well, actually? Yeah, I think so. No, is he yeah, from there or Portuguese? Or was he from Sphere? Oh, I don't know. Some team. He looked quite some good. Te- some, some team abroad. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think I'll get me up. No. I did get me up. So. I think. City, City, they're going to run away with it. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, just wanna, I do want to touch on my stand, though, right? I, I, I don't want it to sound biased because it will, because I'm an Arsenal fan, but. How did David Moyes or Pep Guardiola not win manager of the month? Like, how did one of them two managers not win it? And Poster Cogley won it. I don't get it. Probably oh, because problem there. he's done it right. Nah, yeah, he's, he, yeah. He's yeah brand, Guardiola brand won new. every game. Like, what, what else can he do? And yeah, but David Moyes, he, uh, has yeah, but didn't, best um, Pep up... Guardiola didn't even win manager of the month last season, did he? And then won manager of the year. <laughs> yeah, that's even more crazy. The only thing I can think of is Pep. Is that Pep missed two games, didn't he? Because I would say you, ex- you expect you expect um, Man City to win all their games, didn't you? It works uh, on circumstances, don't it? Everyone, no one's expected Tottenham to maybe do as well as they have done so yes. far because how bad they were. But what about West Ham? He's like, turned West Ham didn't get relegated. West Ham, possibly. yeah, but they're, they're European champions, remember? Yeah, <laughs> they're they're their best team in the world. They're European champions, remember? Best team in Europe. <laughs> I still do that. I think tent. Tottenham's done all right. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be honest. Tottenham. I don't have, but what I do like. Well, and you, Tottenham are second, say, by the way. Tottenham are second, yeah. and you're moaning about he's got two. He's got manager of the month. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a six. Joint second. second. We've got like four other say, teams. I will say one thing that remember Second's. Nuno Santos got manager of the month when he won his first three games in charge of Spurs, and then got sacked a month later. And I also saw that Jose Mourinho got manager of the month in his yeah, first month in charge of Spurs, and he also got sacked like 18 months later. So I wouldn't. Watch out, Don't too much. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's what I'm getting at. Just be careful. All right, a couple of the boring ones then. Newcastle won Brentford nil. Oh, mate, I've watched that. How that... was it? Oh, mate, yeah, it was no <laughs> Yeah, oh, mate, you didn't miss much. And I think we could probably <laughs> skip Super Sunday because that was even worse. <laughs> That I mean, was I'm the a, worst. Must be the worst Super I'm Sunday. An Arsenal, I'm a massive Arsenal fan, right? And even <laughs> I found that hard to watch. Like, and I can't I describe get... that Bournemouth and Chelsea game. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you went to the gym. You, you gave up. <laughs> yeah. Do you I, just, but I thought, no, nah, um, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I just, do you know what? I'll be honest with you. Um, at 60 minutes, uh, the missus came in the room and was like, I need to get some more boxes. I was like, yeah, come on, just I'll go get them. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go get them for you. <laughs> I'll get them on my own. Don't take longer. Yeah, how yeah. bad are Chelsea? How bad? I just don't understand it. I just, I just don't understand what's gone wrong because on paper they've got some unbelievable players. If you were a manager and you got given that list of players, you'd be buzzing you when you that. Think... I looked at that. I looked at their lineup the other day. It's it's not great. It's not good. Like they had um... Sanchez is all right. Thiago Silva's to class. Sunday. I, that, I like that Cove. I like that Coville or whatever his name is. Yeah, they yeah, do, right? So left, he was playing left back. He's only had one season in the Premier League at Brighton, isn't he? Gusto. Yeah. Never played in yeah, the Premier League. Yeah, he looked awful, never played I'll be in honest the Premier with you. League. They got Connor Gallagher and I'm not even gonna pronounce him. Watch you whatever his name is. I don't know his name. <laughs> but exactly, no one knows him. And you've got Sterling, fair enough. Enzo Fernandez, fair yeah. enough. Mudrick and Jackson. It's a poor team. Like, if you actually look at that lineup as 11 yeah. players, it's, it's a team for the future. It, it's a young team, isn't it? They're, they're trying to build. Yeah, but Arsenal's team's a young team, and look what they're doing. I'm not saying they're building well. I'm just saying that's what they're trying <laughs> to do. <laughs> they're just building. They're just, yeah, they're yeah. just buying and, like every young player that comes out of Brighton, and that. Right, we'll quickly go on yeah. to the Everton Arsenal one. 
before we just batter Chelsea some more. Like Baron said, it's too much now. <laughs> it's unfair yeah. at this point. I feel sorry for him. The only thing I will yeah, say about the game, die. right? <laughs> the only thing I will say about the Arsenal Everton game, like because I'm quite happy because it was a boring game. Arsenal kept hold of the ball for for the whole ninety minutes and did not a lot with it. Uh, but the Eddie goal, or oh, sorry, the Martinelli goal. Yeah, for Eddie offside. So. Now, in my opinion, that should be onside. Because hear me out, right? Like for people that didn't see what happened, basically Gabriel kicks the ball back to Saliba, but that Beto or whatever his name is, it accepts it, but it hits his shin and spoons right over the top, goes miles straight to Eddie, who's in an offside position, which I've got no problem with. But the problem is that it come off Beto. Now, if Gabriel is passing the ball to like Eddie. And it hits that be- like that Beto. Then I don't have a problem with that because he is actually trying to attempt the ball to Eddie. But the fact that he's passing the ball backwards, like away from Eddie, and that Beto kicks the ball into Eddie, I feel that he's on side, isn't he? Surely. This is my thing. This is my little say on it. So when I don't know when that rule came in because if I guarantee right, if that goal stood, not a single person would have said he's offside. Yeah, it would. I mean, I know the lino didn't flag and. I'll be honest with you, it was my new offside, like offside, like literally it was like the old toenail again. But yeah, I don't I don't think if they just let that goal stand, I don't think no one mentions it. Moment. Not a single no one, one of their it. players put their arms up. Like not a single and Everton player appealed for five minutes later. Either. Five minutes later, everyone knows this new fangled rule that's just came out. And do you know what I can't If it believe? hits the player, it's it's a different it's it's a goal. It's it's not offside. Do you remember when that Dejan Lovren did it? He missed kicked the ball and like it rolled under his foot and came standing in an offside position. And he just put it in the bottom of the corner and they gave it as a goal. The, he was actually part, stands, no and then they went, anything. they went because Dejan Lovren went to play the ball and missed it. He, he played him outside. Well, no, he's, he's standing in an offside position. If he weren't there, he probably wouldn't have missed the ball. It's a goal for me as well. It's not took a little nick either, as it is a massive deflection. Wait, he's ki- so he's kicked the ball. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna argue the other way because I've done a video on how this is offside. So this would be a good conversation. Um, I don't think it should be offside. Like I think we're all stupid. I do think that, like you said, like Billy said, no one is good. No one was going to complain if that's not um, if that's given as a goal. No one appealed for it. But there was one last season, and I can't remember which game it's in. I'm gonna have to find it after this. But there was one last season. It was exactly the same thing. And I've watched um, the ref watch on it as well. And it's apparently the rule is they have to deliberately play the ball, like deliberately play it there, deliberately pass it there. Any sort of deflection, yeah. But and you know he's not intending to go to They were sat, he was. I watched ref, ref watch earlier. That was easy for me to say. And that Dermot Gallagher on it or whatever his name was. And he yeah, basically yeah. said that he said because Beto mm. didn't mean to do it, but he put his leg there. He's trying to. Yeah. He's tempting he, he to, block, to block, it. block it. So he, he meant to block it. He just didn't. How many I, times I mean, have you I seen someone shot. take a shot and it ping out like over by the corner flag and it ends up into a, like a decent co- like a decent pass or something or a cross that ends up in the goal? Like just because you didn't mean I, I, to do I, it. I, like do you know I got shut down for this. I got sh- I, I got shut down for this on TikTok, but I do I still think it's a good good comparison, regardless of what people think. Um, I compare it to like a back pass. It's like if you if you kick the ball, it hits somebody and somehow trickles back to your keeper. Keeper's picking that up, right? Yeah. But if the if they pass it to the keeper, he can't pick it up. It's a back pass, and I just if it's deliberate, it's it, it's offside. But if it's not, sorry, the other way around, I've completely fucked that up. But you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I think. <so. laughs> when did this rule came out? When did this rule come out? Oh, I've never heard. I, it. I don't know. I've never I heard just, of it. I, I just. I remember one last season, which was really, really similar, but that was you know, it. And that's when the they showed it, away was like, do you know what? When no they one showed knows this it, rule. It's nah. just come out and everyone's an expert on it. When they, it's when they showed <laughs> when they showed Eddie, like put the line on Eddie, okay, right? Do you know what I thought? I thought, oh my God, they put it on the wrong bloke. They're meant to be doing it on Martinelli to see if he's on side. I thought that because he was, he was thought, over here, weren't he? <laughs> I thought, oh my God, someone's getting sacked in the morning. Literally, you know what? In, in real time, I thought it was offside. Like in real time, and that's why I mean, when the goal went in, I think Martinelli also. I mean, I know he injured himself and he sort of went into the barricades, but he didn't really celebrate. The players all sort of come over to him, and I was sitting there in the front room watching it, and I'm just like, I, I don't think that's going to get given. And that was well, at like, first. In real time. When, 
when I realised what had happened, right, and they did the line, I was like, oh, yeah, Eddie's offside, fair enough, because in my group chat, it was all going off, how is Martinelli offside, blah, 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 and I was like, it weren't, it was Eddie. I was fine. I didn't even notice that it was that Beto that kicked the ball to him. Yeah. Until afterwards, yeah, because I, I was doing like 100 million things at once. For me, it's a goal, and I can't see how it's, they... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it should well, be a goal. It, I think that... It, I, oh, yeah, I think they're all stupid. And also, I don't, I don't, if I don't that know gets given... If that yeah, goal no gets blamed. given, no one bats an eyelid. No I don't one think anyone even looks at that. new rule. I don't even think no. anyone looks at that. Um, but what I will say is, what a goal Arsenal did score. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it was outrageous. Yeah. And the fact that it dinked off the post and went in made it look even better. 